What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're going to talk about what an interchangeable thumb system is, why it's important, and which one is my favorite, and most importantly, why. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you like this jersey or any of the jerseys in any of my videos, coolwick.com, use my promo code NAPOLIS10, that'll get you 10% off your entire order. And then down below in the description, there's gonna be a link where you can order anything bowling related, including these three interchangeable thumb systems. First, let's talk about the importance of why having these systems in your ball is most important. The number one reason is feel, consistent feel from ball to ball. So the three big ones that we have are the Vice It, which is the Vice Interchangeable Thumb. We have the Turbo Switch Grip, and then we have the newer company of the bunch, Jopo, with the Twist. So let, we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys a little close up of each of these bowling ball, uh, each of these interchangeable thumb systems, and why I think they're important. How do how do they get installed into the ball, and, and whatnot? So we're gonna start with the Vice It. So as you guys can see. Um, it's a very simple system. There's a screw at the bottom, okay? And then there's a piece inside the ball at the very bottom, which you're gonna put your hand into, twist it around like three or four times. It's gonna lock into place. And to me, this is a very good one. I, I've been using Vice. I'm not, uh, l let me also start by saying, I'm not on staff with either of these companies, okay? So this is just me. I've tried all three of them. And I'm just gonna tell you guys which ones I think is the best and why. So I've never had a single vice thumb break ever. I used them for a year, for the last year, and then for the year before that I used turbo, and then before that I only ever used vice. So I've never had one of these break, which is a good thing. The one issue that I have had is that sometimes, because it's just this one little point of contact here at the bottom, I've had to come up and down a little bit, and then you just gotta like re-hammer it in, which is not ideal, but I've never had one break. Then when we turn it over to the turbo switch grip, um, I, I like the concept, I, I like the concept, but in the one year that I was on staff with Turbo, I had five of these break. So to me, uh, I'm never using Turbo again. And it's not a knock on Turbo, I think the grips are great. It's just, it's these two little points of contact right here that are the issue. They're very, very small. And because of that, they're very easy to break. And again, I'm not knocking Turbo, okay, because they were the, they're the only company that's ever given me a staff contract with the interchangeables. It's just that I've had a lot of them break and maybe you guys have been more lucky than I have. I've just been on the receiving end of very unluckiness. Then we're gonna switch it over to Jopo, the twist. Um, I just started using this about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and because of that, I decided to make this video comparing all three of them. And so far, this is the one. This is the one. It has three points of contact at the bottom that are very, very thick. And then as you guys can see here, there's a thread. So it gets threaded into the ball and it makes a very secure click when it goes in, which is a very big thing. I mean, again, I've only had them for three weeks, but so far it's been like this. Number one, number two, far away number three being that turbo one. So I'm gonna get you guys on the lanes here and I'm gonna throw a couple shots and kind of just explain to you guys my feel. And then as far as the installation process, um, you're gonna have to take this into your local pro shop and have them install them for you. I've installed all three of these myself as a previous pro shop operator and all three of them are very, very easy to install. You shouldn't have any issues going from non-interchangeables to interchangeables. The biggest thing is finding someone to make a thumb, the actual thumb inside that's gonna fit you. And, but once you find someone like I have that can make you a thumb that's gonna feel perfect, that's gonna be the biggest thing. And then another thing that I really like about using interchangeables is that me as a larger person, my fingers and my, well my thumb really, not so much my fingers, my thumb likes to swell a lot and then reduce size a lot in the winter. So because of that, you can have three, four, five of these all with different sizes so that as you swell, as you, you know, shrink a little bit, you can go from thumb to thumb and have a perfect fit, feel every time without having to finagle all the tape and every single ball all at once. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys have tried any of the interchangeable thumb systems, which one is your favorite, and if you haven't, tell me why. And then if you're a two-hander or you don't use your thumb, Hey guys, I'm sorry, this video is not for you. 
So let's get on the lanes and uh, just throw a couple shots with each. And then uh, we're not looking at the ball motion as much. I mean, I am going to be bowling in the video, but the, the, this video is not for ball motion. I'm going to tell you guys how my thumb is feeling. So let's get on the lanes, show you guys what it's all about. All right, so we're going to throw a couple shots here in the vice thumb. And again, it's the one I've been using for the last year. So it's the one I, I know the most. Stuck like crazy there. So then the biggest thing with these interchangeable thumbs for me is feeling secure. All right, so now we're gonna get into the turbo thumb. And now when I get back to the desk, I'll talk to you guys about some of my experiences with these. And why I chose which one I chose. All right, then one more shot here with the turbo switch grip, and then we'll take it over to the Dropo one. Oh, missed that one at the bottom. All right, so now we're in the Dropo twist. couple more shots here and then we'll talk talk about everything one more shot here all right so the bowling balls I'm throwing in this video are irrelevant but if, if you guys are wondering I'm throwing the fate with the vice thumb, the IQ Tour Solid with the turbo thumb, and the Sunstorm with the Jopo thumb. And for me, when all of them are working perfectly fine, they're indistinguishable, okay? Because they're designed to stay in the bowling ball. It's the error rate that I've encountered has been really high, not really high, because five breaking out of the thousands and thousands of shots that I've thrown is very very low but they have broken with that turbo one so for me i mean i'm probably never going to use that switch grip again then with the vice one um i have had it like i said where it comes up and down a little bit uh just i mean just a little it's never come out but it's come like up and down a little bit and you have to like hammer it back in and then with the jopo one while i've only been using it for a couple weeks to me it feels the most secure so if your local pro shop has the abilities to install the Jopo uh, twist, I would highly suggest going with that one. And again, like I'm not on staff with either, uh, any three of these companies, and I'm just leaning more towards the Jopo one right now. Like I said, I haven't had any issues with it. It feels really secure. The three points of contact at the bottom, plus the thread, uh, I feel like it really helps keep it inside the ball. So we're going to get back on the lanes and continue to like really get after it at the bottom, you know, just to see if maybe my mind gets changed. But I think where I'm at right now, I think my mind is pretty much made up and I'm doing my best to not have confirmation bias in this video where I went into it already liking Jopo a little bit more. I'm just really trying to see the feel right now in this video. And three shots in with each of them, I'm leaning more towards Jopo right now. All right, we're going to do a camera angle change. And now we're back into the vice thumb for a couple shots. Ooh. Yeah, to me, this vice thumb, I think, is a really close number two. All right, and then last shot here with the vice thumb. Oh, that's dirty. All right, now I'm in the turbo thumb. Yep, 
Yeah, this ball rolls too good to have a thumb that I don't love in it. All right, then last shot here with the turbo thumb. Ooh, big old split. And then three more shots here to end the video with the Joe Po thumb. A couple more shots here with the Joe Po or wrap up this video. All right, last shot of the video here, guys. And then for those of you who watch all my videos, let me know if you like this camera angle. Maybe I'll incorporate it more. All right, so we're all done kind of comparing the three major interchangeable thumb systems. I know that there's like an ultimate thumb or whatever, but I've never, I've never tried it and I don't know anyone that has personally. So that's why I didn't in include it in this video. So we had the turbo switch grip, which guys, I mean, that's not a knock on turbo. It's just, I've had too many of them break and I don't like the system. From a ball motion standpoint, the thumb that had the turbo one was probably the best one of the three, but that's not what this video is about. It was more about the interchangeable thumb system and which one I liked the best. Then these two, to me, honestly, were very, very close. Uh, originally, I thought that it was like a clear cut that the Jopo was going to be far and away better. But I think that these were very, very close as far as a feel. And then because I've never had one of these break ever, it made that just that much closer as far as the competition between them two goes. But I do think, however, that because this has these three points of contact at the bottom, plus this thread, plus when it locks, it makes like a click noise. Like you could tell that it is secure in there. I think that this is gonna be my number one. And I think that going forward, I'm going to switch over to this Jopo system. So Jopo, if you're watching, and I hope you are, send me a contract. Let's make something happen here. And, that, and this is not what this video is really about. It's just, I really like the way this thumb feels. And then again, if we're talking about ball motion, I think that the vice thumb ball, the fate, looked better than the ball motion of the thumb that was in the Jopo, but that was no indication of the feel of the thumb. It was just a ball on the lane. Knowing what I know now, I probably should have done this with the same ball, because uh, I know that those comments are gonna arise. But guys, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I really appreciate it. If you guys want more information on the Jopo system or even the Vice system or the Turbo, whatever the case is, just send me a message, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer all of them. Well, I will answer all the comments, but I'll do my best to answer them in the best way possible. So click right here to watch another one of my videos. Click right here to subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Me and the Jopo thumb are gonna, we're gonna be good friends.